Right. Did you do this over here? Mm-mm. Damn it. It's okay. It's already started. No worries. I'll change it. So we got this, got this. What's up, y'all? We are live. And to be completely honest, I have not watched Game of Thrones. But today... Beyond says she's super hungover. Well, that's what happens when you drink. If you alternate water with whatever it is, like a glass of water, whatever drink you're drinking. I can't tell you that. You're not old enough. But for all the people that are old enough, alternate a glass of water with whatever drink you're drinking. Yeah, because you do that all the time. Well, Never. I'm grown and I can have a hangover. Never, ever, ever. I feel hungover. What other color might you need? I think I'm just gonna use, um, let's do a fireball. Let's do fireball. Okay, your um, point we'll is fireball this. here. This should be fireball, right? Ooh, that's magenta. Um, maybe nice just color. red, fireball and red, and this. Get some different textures in there. Um, red. Oh, you know what I do need when you get a chance? Will you get me, um, a Klaus Thin? Not, not the Lego. Good morning. Good afternoon. It's noon time. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Who said that? Beyond, I'm a super lightweight. I only had 3.5 shots last night. Well, I hope you're a lightweight because you're not old enough to drink. You'd have a problem if you were like... Hmm. I drink all the things. Well, that's what college is for, I assume. I don't know. And also... I didn't go to college for five years to not know how to drink. Mm -hmm. We do not condone minors drinking. But you're supposed to say, Jeffrey, you didn't go to college for. Oh yeah, Jeffrey. Five years. You didn't go to college for how many years? Six, five. Yeah, and I said, and then I just said, I said I didn't go to college for four years. <laughs> Emerald City be in. What is Emerald City? Is that a color? Yes. Ah. It's a resin art color. I don't know when it'll be in. I'm out of it in the shop, but if I have one over here. Womp. All I have is seagrass. Alright, so. Um, we're gonna make, um, you guys can't see yet what we're gonna do. So it's kind of a surprise. Um, right now, Jacqueline, I got those in today, so I am updating it as soon as I get the clicker back. I mean the mouse, you know what uh -huh. I mean. Don't feel bad, Jeff, I went to work. Your ass off college, AKA hard knocks. Oh, <laughs> that's true. So with that said, happy Sunday fun day, y'all. I did not. Um, I mean, I'll have to check. I, I haven't. I mean, I I get so many text messages, so I don't. Especially from other people. All right. So, if you could see, look how amazing this gold is. Like. You can see your reflection in it. Like. 
I don't know. It's hard to... With this guy, you can see. Like, that's not just a shadow. That is your reflection. <laughs> it's bananas. This gold is amazing. That gold is... Montana gold. Well, I don't, I don't count on this... Um, going the way I think it's going to go <laughs> because this stencil is pretty small stencil so it's going to be a little uh, a little janky I think but what I'm going to do I'm going to put the scales down I'm going to try to do it as light as possible then we'll do a um, a clear coat and then I'm going to do like a like a my, one of my dragon pattern swipes and then I'll let that dry, uh, sand it down, draw on it, and then do a flood coat over that. So this will be, I don't know, probably three videos. Yes. So, and I think I'm going to use um, this Lemon Yellow by Just Resin. Red and maybe some gold. And I thought we had fireball over here, but. I gave you a fireball. I don't see it anywhere. No way. Yeah. I mean, this one? Mm. And a fireball to make it a little interesting. Let me find the egg and put it up there that we're kind of going off of. Full disclosure, I don't know anything about Game of Thrones. Really? Really? What? Oh, I don't really know anything about Game of Thrones. I have... All right. Yeah, Lisa, we um, preemptive, preemptively... So I'm gonna start this stencil up here. We posted the video too soon, and so and it does work say my it way won't down. Be. I'm gonna use my spray paint, just flat black, and then um, the Klaus Thin, which is a very, uh, very nice cap. That it's a low pressure cap, so that means the paint comes out a little slower than normal caps, and it's you can get a very defined uh, line with this. Like you can write lettering with this with this one if you if you like. But um, what what are you doing? It got dark. I think the sound moved. Mm. All right, so let's do this. And now I'm adding a picture of the egg. All right, so I'm just gonna lightly hit this, right? You start from here, no, I start down here. And then you move them and you just, what I'm gonna do is just try to hit just this part right here. I'm not gonna hit any of this. I don't know, we'll see. Kinda scared. Don't be a scared bee. This is going to be way too dark. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Um, Diane, Emerald City is on order. Paula Wall. Oh, 
Oh, I hate that, that when you touch this gold. That's one thing. This gold is very touchy. So when you, you touch it, you leave your fingerprints. So I'm trying not to touch that. I lost art. I can't. And I'm just barely hitting this. I'm barely like spraying. I'm not I'm doing like a light mist. I think Jen said it was snowing where she is too. What's up, Petra? You just found this stencil online and cut it out real quick. If you look at these, the... the I'm just egg. trying to hit the top of the edge, like... You gotta remember you can't keep doing this or this paint will start to run. So you have to like stop and wipe your stencil off. And just kind of like dab it, dry it. If you use like construction paper or like poster board, something poster more board rigid. Is, yeah, poster board's a little bit more forgiving. Like it'll soak up the paint. Paper, not so much. So I would definitely um, just dab your, just dab the, the paint off so that it's not soaked and heavy and then it starts to drip onto your actual piece. If you notice it, he's basically aiming for the bottom. This part right here. I'm trying to like literally just spray right here. I'm not, I'm not spraying down here, I'm spraying up here. It's kind of hard to see that, but I'm literally just spraying right along this part right here. So then it kind of fades down like more overspray than anything. Hey, Clara. Thank you, Melissa. That way the misting part gives the shape and you don't cover up everything else. Yeah, you just painted. Hi, Sue. Thank you, Philip. Awesome, Margaret. We love it when we give people ideas. If this paint was a little bit, had a little bit more paint in it, it would be a little easier to paint these. It is an old can of spray paint. Also, don't forget when spraying you're down, down, like when you spray down like this, the paint is a little more difficult to get a solid spray. Yeah. Don't forget when you're using spray paint to wear proper like respirators and things like that if you're sensitive at all and be in a well ventilated area and away from all open flames. Don't need to set any studios on fire. Hey, Tiffany. 
Is Jeff using a special tip to miss it like this or is that just his experience? It's a little bit of both, to be honest. Um, the cap is a German thin in most places, but we call it Klaus thin on our website because my dad was German and so it was just a nod to my dad. Um, but yeah, we sell them on the website and it takes a little bit of practice to control a spray can, but it's a lot easier when you have the proper tips like this because it gives you more control. So even if you don't have that much experience, having a tip that you can really, um, what am I trying to say, B? It's just, it's just more control over. You just have a lot more control. And the paint's not coming out, you know, like it went on a normal cap. Well, that's awesome, Margaret. I completely understand having like an artist block, but it's really interesting when you see someone kind of address the issue that you have or something similar in another medium, it makes it so much easier to get on with your project. Diane, thank That's you. That's true, because a lot of other mediums, a lot of mediums, they're, you know, you get stuck or you just like, how am I supposed to do it? And then you, 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 you find somebody that even if it's like, I don't know, like charcoal or pottery or, or, or any, anything, wood turning, anything. The way they do something could help you in what you're doing. And it would just, and it, and it, all, and it, and it turns out to be a little bit more fun when you do it a, a completely different way than you're used to doing it. Here, That's how I started painting again. The link to the caps. Hi, Vamp. They are dragon scales. Don't stress about trying to get all of them the same amount of spray on them because having a variation in how much of the paint comes out gives you different depths and it makes it more interesting on the piece. Yeah. You can see like this area is lighter than this area. It just makes it, if it was all exactly the same, it'd be like a wallpaper, which You're is like boring. Monotone, yeah. Wasn't Clara's video amazing? If you guys haven't seen Clara's video, she posted one about her dragon and it is Oh, amazing. Make sure you check that out. It's a mixed media piece. She used alcohol ink, some resin, and magic. It's awesome. Oh, thanks, Cara. Thank you very much. Bring him to a class. We'll make him get into it. I mean, You'd be surprised. Yeah. Thank you, Clara. Hi, Kim. So Claire's the first one from the summit that I'm seeing put all the things that she learned there um, to work for her. Has anyone else decided to start a channel or get their business running? Where are we at, y'all? Well, I'm glad you're here, Kim. Basically, we're making a dragon egg. A la Game of Thrones. A la. Your dragon scales are getting a little bit drunk up there. Yeah, I know because I can't hold on to them. I can't like, 
I, there's no room for me to put my hand, so. Ah, okay. I have to like hold, like. And it's they're gonna be covered up anyway, so. You could be a drunk dragon. It. Well, good. I'm glad you're putting some of that stuff to work. And if you couldn't make it to the summit, I think Stone Coat is going to put um, a video up. Um, kind of recapping some of the speakers so that everybody can learn some things. Here we go. Babe, calm down. Okay. It's going to be covered up. Okay. Remember? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it looks pretty enough to be a dragon egg already. Oh, thanks, Kara. Diane, he's gonna make you some great stuff for sure, for sure. Thank you, Paula. I'm digging it. Huh? So I'm digging it. Me too. Look at it on the camera. See, it would probably be easier if I went the opposite way. If I went here down. But then you have your I'm not... fingers in it. Yeah, but it gives a texture. Yeah, you too. Alright, so there's that. I understand, Miss Bouvier. Colleen, that's awesome. Supplementing income is great. And I actually read an article that was talking about why you shouldn't monetize your hobby. And I just think kind of a little bit ridiculous. While I agree that if it takes the joy out of your hobby, then don't do it. Well, that's when, this is, this is the thing with that. And it's, this is kind of important. Um, I've talked about this before, about how I love to take pictures. And then my friend Willie says, hey man, I would love for you to take pictures at this club, you know, cause I love how your pictures take out, you know, turn out. And I get there and he wants me to use his camera and, he, and he's telling me, okay, I need you to t you know, take him from this way and make sure you get this and that. And then he's paying me to do it and it's not how I do it. So make sure if you, you're getting paid, do it the way you want to do it. Don't, don't do commission stuff first. Paint what you want to paint and put the price tag on it and sell it that way. Because once you start, once people start dictating you know, how you're supposed to paint something, what you're supposed to paint, and they're paying for it, that becomes terrible. That's, mm -hmm. then you're, then you're, you're you, you get backed up in orders and, you, and then you don't feel like doing it. And then it just, you're, there's a term I like to say that obviously it's a, I didn't make it up, but um, you want to paint to live, right? No, you live, don't live to paint, not paint. You want to live to paint, not paint to live. And there's a big difference in that. So I would just start making stuff and selling it. Don't, you know, take on commission pieces and all that jibber jabber until you're really ready, you know? So that's kind of, mm -hmm. you know, a hobby turning into a uh, kind of thing. The pups are quiet today. Bowie has been an absolute madman all morning. From the time he woke me up by pulling my hair out, literally, till about 10 minutes ago, he's been zooming around the house, which is fine. But I think he's tuckered. And when Bowie sleeps, that's when Cujo takes advantage of quiet time as well. make some skulls with uh I need to clear coat all of those 
things over there too. And I want to put some rose petals in this. one of the roses that Jen sent me right after my daddy passed and it's beautiful it's all the colors and I want to cast it in this pretty thick I'm just gonna put the petals in there no I'm going to just get ready I think I might hot, hot glue them hot glue them I don't care if they float at all maybe I'll just fill it halfway put them in there let it set and then fill it the rest of the way after it's set. Have any group tried adding airbrush paint to your resin? And if so, details and brands. Um, we've done it. From what I remember, it worked okay, but airbrush paint isn't cheap. So if you're gonna spend that kind of money, you may as well just buy resin paint, yeah. you know? I don't know how light fast that stuff is in resin and it'll definitely dilute it a lot so unless you get like heavy body golden mm -hmm. um, bad bunny art I like it Diane what no oh, I was just letting you talk I was just letting you know um Philip West said awesome advice Diane um when people ask us how we do it all, I usually say we don't sleep, so. No, you don't actually have to have sleep. Which set of resin powder is most affordable? So, when you're talking about affordability with resin paint, you have to take into consideration, or you don't. You don't have to, but I would. Um, how much a paint costs, in relation to how well it mixes into resin. Because there's a lot of paints that we've demoed on the site and on um, our channel that doesn't completely mix into resin very well. And no one needs blue freckles in the middle of their piece, you know what I mean? So sometimes the cheaper something is, the quality um, may not be there. I hope I'm saying that right. But, I mean, there are a lot of brands that are good value, like um, Black Diamond Powders mix into resin well and they aren't um, as expensive as other brands. If you're looking for a sale though, I just opened up a clearance on our website for a lot of our overstock paints that I ordered too much of at some point or another and we need to free up space for whole bunch of paint and resin that we have coming in. I need some white. Where's the white at? It's over here. Diane's asking you about how much paint you do something. How much paint what? Read it. What? <laughs> Jeff, how much paint are you putting in stick and in cup? On stick. I, well, I, not I think yet. when you're mixing the colors. Um, In general, it's recommended to do 10%. Um, I'm just going to put, um, since these are little, and I'm, I'm just going to make a, a, a swipe dragon out of this. You don't need a lot. You don't need to make a lot of colors. Um, I have a lot of resin. So I'll probably fill these up because then I'm going to put um, the excess. We'll make some like skulls that kind of go with this and I don't know, maybe add them to it. Who knows? I just need a little bit of it before you use all of it. Um, but I will definitely show you. This is the Just Resin Red, which is phenomenal. It's a non-shimmer paste. You I, can. Sorry. 
I mean, that's just for that. <laughs> Literally just the tip. So you can resin a live rose to keep the original color, allegedly. Oh no, this is, that is uh, Fireball? That's Fireball, sorry. This is red. It's a little bit brighter. And there's no shimmer in the red. There is shimmer in the fireball. Yeah. Um, Roxy, I haven't found a way to do it yet. I know some people will put their... There's like silica powder or something like that. Don't quote me because I can't remember what it's called. Um, it's supposed to take the moisture out of the flower, keeping it as true to its natural color. Some people use kitty litter as well. I have all the stuff to try it and I haven't yet. The issue is, is that when resin starts to set up, it heats up. And when you introduce heat to something like a rose, it's going to wilt. So it's not going to look exactly like what it did when you put it into the resin. So the idea is that you need to evaporate that moisture out of it first. That being said, I am researching some ways to coat it in like a clear glue or something like that that seals the petals in without um, changing the color and that will protect it from the heat that the resin gives off when it's starting to set up. It's all research that I'm working on right now. Ms. Bouvier, I would have to look. I have no idea offhand. This is rose gold. Yeah, this is 006 Rose Gold from uh, Color Obsession. And then I just used the Lemon Yellow from Just Resin. Cara, I have in our shop probably 480 different colors of resin paint in, in the form of powder, a paste, a tint, metal flakes, transparents, opaques, glitters. I can't even go through them all. So you may find what you're looking for on our website, not to like give my own little like website a little, you know, toot toot, but that's toot kind toot. of what we did it for. You know, I wanted to make available all of the colors in the States that Australia has, and that's for some reason the United States hasn't caught up with. So check our website out, artistolet.com. Thank you, Tammy. I don't know if there's gonna be enough for um, your thing. I just need enough to fill the bottom so that I can put the petals in and let it set up. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to fill this today. I've also taken some of the flowers from my dad's funeral and I dried them and I'm going to what, what word am I looking for? I'm going to cast, cast them in resin. So stay tuned for that adventure. No, um, Robin, just on the left of the screen, you'll see like the different brands and categories. Click on clearance and they'll all be right there. I'll try that, Sue. Really, people? People don't realize mm -hmm. that people live right here. Mod Podge, I'll try that as well. Ooh, look at that red. You can't mess with that red. We do use transparents a lot, but the transparents that we use are um, by Color Obsession. And here is the, the Fireball.
And if you were wondering, we're using uh, Stone Coat's Art Coat. My favorite resin. If you're new to the channel, it's a one-to-one. -one. It has about at least an hour and a half working time. That's why we can just kind of let it set and, you know, take your time because the working time is uh, longer than, I don't know, a lot of the other resins we've tried. Mm -hmm. And everything works with this paint. It, or everything works with that resin. So it's, it's pretty amazing stuff. There's all my petals. <sighs> awesome, Diane. Diane, I ordered that aerosol spray. Um, that talks about that. I I got it in already, but I haven't had a chance to use it quite yet. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. And if any of you uh, followers, subscribers, subscribers sorry, um, are in Fort Worth today at the art fair, we are going. We're going to get some inspo. Get our name out there in uh, Fort Worth at Funky Town. Funky Town. We can go see a mill. We got to make it home at some point what why would we not make it home is it just because Mel likes the party babe and you haven't seen him in a while we'll be all thank right thank you clara all right so hi rusty Let me see if I can find that flower preservation spray. And I'll add it to the Amazon link. Okay. It gave me a sugar glider hammock instead of a flower preservation spray. And silica gel crystals. Ah, I see you, Krylon. So it's made by Krylon. And it is now... It looks like you're just making, like, a letter. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pamela. We spray painted the base of this to look like dragon scales, and now we're gonna do a dragon on top of it. And then once it's set up, Jeff is going to draw over it and um, then probably add some airbrush, I hope. Karen, do you have allergies, like, in general? Plant polish, that's a thing. This looks like mustard and ketchup dragon. I'm not a fan of that. I 
anytime you use yellow and red together, it's going to look like ketchup and mustard. No, that's why I've never used yellow and red together. <laughs> but don't forget that you still have overdrawing it and all that that you can... electric wings. Thank you. That's not a bad idea, Diane. Hi, Miss. It looks less um, ketchup and mustardy now. Mm -hmm. And I love this. Like the idea of the white, like. Mm like flames. Has anyone ever heard of someone with my symptoms? Karen, your eyes are just puffy. So usually the reaction with resin presents in like a rash or, or like kind of a burning sensation. People call it resin rash. Jeff has had it before. You can get a rash and it is not a fun time. Then you just have to take a bunch of Benadryl, clean it with purified water and let it air out. Bless you. Sorry y'all, thank you. Thank you, Sue. Um, with anything, just use proper precautions. to see after you do all your overdoodles. That yellow has just disappeared. You didn't like it anyways.
My pleasure, Karen. All right, well, there's the first part of a dragon. And I left negative space, which I Over really doodles. wanted to do. I so that's good. love this piece so far. And I know that once you start doing all the overdoodles, and yes, that's a new, new word, it's going to be even more dragon esque. You're going to do the overdraw in white, right? Yeah. Um, Diane, Judy, and Jen run the contest now. But I bet they will do a Mother's Day one. Margaret says, okay, that's beautiful already, and my son loves it. Bye, Sue. Thank you. So this dragon's going to have a very big beard. Yeah, we'll see. love it already and y'all can't see it but these brown flecks are starting to float up looks really awesome <sighs> they can't see the floating above the How it's like, since you put clear down first, how it's like floating. Mm. Brilliant. Absolutely, Diane. So. Take the piece and put it up. Um, make sure it's open. Both the boys are taking a nap. For now. 
All right. Uh, it's so awesome with all that bronze. It's just muddy. It's, I'm, I'm not happy with how muddy it is. Now, you need to, you're not getting any of this stuff off the bottom, babe. Like, that's all gonna drip on the floor. My ketchup and mustard dragon. Come on. Oh, just a big boy. You know it, Miz. All right. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in and seeing what we're up to. I know the title says the wrong thing, but I'm going to change it as soon as I post it. Check out our all the everything else over here. Visit our website, artistofleft.com, to get a whole bunch of paints. We do have a class coming up. June 1st and 2nd. Fun fact, that is also the anniversary of our very first class. So, we may what? have special guests from our first class mates coming to that as well. Possibly. Um. Maybe a movie star or something. I don't know. Well, I'm already here. Anyways, um, if you guys have any questions, shoot us an email. Thornetartistolet.com. Two T's, two L's. If you want to see what we see at the... Fort Worth Art Festival. Join us on Snapchat. Snapchat. They are right there. Right. You gotta get around the screen. Oh. Uh, uh, over there. Right. Right. There. <laughs> <laughs> that took so too Do long. Snapchat right there. <laughs> doink, doink. And... We'll see all you guys tomorrow, same place, different time. Mondays we go live at 8 p.m. Central Standard, one. Dallas, Texas, United States, Milky Way Universe time. Yeah. We love you all so, so much. Be kind to everybody. You never know what someone may be going through. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye and have a happy Sunday fun day. Mm-hmm.